Nine years old, my mother decided that my hair would grow back better and thicker if she shaved it. My younger sister has so much more hair than I do, and here I am, nine, and I have hardly any hair. So at nine years old, this was already becoming a big issue. There'd be no way I would be the woman I am now if it wasn't for the fact that I fixed this hair because it not only affected me emotionally, it affected me physically, it affected me professionally, and it affected me sexually because you can't feel empowered if you don't look empowered. And I match the hair to the head. I found myself in the salon business. I never thought that professionally I would be in this kind of business. But personally, I've been involved since I was nine years old. So I guess this has been my destiny. I normally wear my hair 24 seven, but for you, the woman who has this same problem, I decided to make mine removable because it's easier for you to see that A, obviously this is not a fun issue because it affects how I look, but it's going to be fun because I'm going to be a different person because now I'm going to do straighter hair. Look how completely different I look from curly to straighter hair. Even though it affects 46 million women, we are still in the closet about it. We don't tell our friends. We're uncomfortable telling our doctors. We don't even know what we're asking. We don't even know for sure what it is. And I think that is the most ridiculous thing in the world because no one dies from going bald. Other women have fake teeth, have fake boobs, have fake butts, have fake nails, and we have issues with fake hair. I don't understand. I don't understand.